Hello friends, welcome back to Factory I Tutorials and in this lesson I am going to explain you one of my project that I have made on Factory IO. So Factory IO provides multiple pre-made scenes that you just have to open them and you have to code the logic. So if you don't know that how to get them then go to file and uh, click on open and here we have scenes. So here we have different factory scenes and you just have to click them and code the logic. Or you can make it from scratch from these all components that are given on the right. So here we have a water tank system that I have worked on and I have made a logic on it in the control io so i'm not going to make it from scratch and because it will take so much time so if you need this project file then you can get it in the description so i have already placed a file on it so you can download it and run it so here i have made a simple logic not so complicated and in this video i'm going to explain you that here on the dashboard I have placed two push buttons and here we have a reset button also to reset the timers so here we have to fill the tank using timers so here I have so here I have two displays over here for to fill the tank and to discharge the tank and here we have a reset button okay so I run this logic okay so when I press the first push button it will fill the tank for 10 seconds You can set any time according to your wish and when I press the discharge button it will discharge the tank for 5 seconds. Ok so when I press this reset button it will reset the counter and we can again fill the tank for 10 seconds. And here also you can see when I press the reset button it reset the timer and uh, when I press the start push button it sets the timer for 10 seconds and the tank is filled for 10 seconds and it also sets the wall that is fill wall and the tank is filled and after 10 seconds it reset the fill wall and here also we have a discharge that is stop push button and as i have already told that it needs a not function and here we have connected the output that is discharge wall and uh, after 5 seconds it reset the discharge wall and the reset button resets the timer both the timers the fill valve timer and the discharge valve timer so that's it and uh, see you in the next video thanks for watching